Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Science Generations. We're going to hop right in with some missions, some challenges, and we're, we're rocking Mushroom Hill Zone right now, because I love that song. Um, something I don't think I've mentioned at this point, um, and I'll have to put, I remember to put it in my video description. Uh, for this LP, maybe I have mentioned it, if I have, well you're hearing it again. For this Let's Play, I don't plan on putting song titles in. Because every uh, song, if you look at the soundtrack, uh, every song has the, it's it's just the zone name. So like for example, this would be Speed Highway, or it would be whatever the name of like the zone is. Let's say it was uh, City Escape. The song title is Escape from the City, but right after that you'd see it's it, um, Escape from the City for City Escape. So you know exactly what uh, level it's for. So I won't be putting song titles in. Um, if that's a problem, you know, feel free to let me know. But um, yeah, it's, it's a little time saving on my part. And, you know, it's just kind of redundant because every zone would have the song. Or, like this, you know, it's Mushroom Hill uh, because, well, I chose the song at the beginning of the level. So, anyway, this is. What mission is this? I think this is the one. Go! With the speed shoes. You keep getting speed shoes. It's, uh, kind of ruins the point of getting this music. I, I quite like Mushroom Hill's music. Really, Cop Speeder? I have a feeling that, like, I'm just going to be saying really a lot in the rest of this game because stuff like that will happen to me and that, that's not fun, that's no good. I'm going to try to avoid the speed shoes because get up there! Alright, and let's hop over here and we're going to boobly boop bop off of you, boobly boop bop off of you, and jump and go and go, hurry! So much platforming! Get the S rank! Thank you! You don't need speed shoes for that. Wow, that just uh, looks like it slowed down for a second. No, we're not gonna try again. So that's one mission in the bag. Five more to go. Anyway, how are you? This is October. Today is October 26th, I believe. Um, and I haven't uploaded in the past week for quite some time until I think like Friday, uh, which was yesterday. So it's kind of a bummer. I had. I think like six episodes of these um, set and more or less ready to go, and I just didn't get a chance to upload them, so that's a, it's quite a bummer, but here we are now, and I think episode one's uploaded at this point, so this is completely irrelevant commentary. Anyway, we're going to find something else fun to do, and it's not going to involve cream, because here's a fun fact, I actually recorded this episode uh, about 25 seconds ago, and I did the cream mission, and I failed, I failed hard, so... I said, we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess with screen, we'll do that later. Oh, I forgot, Shadow's over there. Okay, we're gonna do Shadow at the end of all these missions. Yeah, there's another, another rival fight. Can we, can we get up there? Yeah, let's get up here. I like how he kind of phases through the front of the platform when he jumps on the platform, whereas like in the old game, you just see him kind of go through it. I, no, don't, okay. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, Rouge, which one is this? Um, yeah, uh, sure, we'll go for it. Let's put a... Uh, Let's go with, oh, wait. Yeah, Japanese Palm Tree Panic. It's always, like, one of the funniest things to do in this game is to find which songs fit, like, with which levels. Like, that's just one thing I will spend so much time doing. Like, you don't know how many times i played Green Hill Zone just so I could hear Mushroom Hill, Angel Island. I'm sure a lot of people know that. I'm sure you've all done that. But that's, like, if, you, if there's one reason to buy this game, just do it for the soundtrack. Think you can dodge my and get to that's the not the, okay. Anyway. She has little heart-shaped bombs, and the things from Starlight slash Hilltop Zone are back. Little teeter-totters. I like these things. I always like spin dashing off of them in uh in Starlight or what was it? Hilltop Zone. Cause Sonic stays in a little spin dash sprite thingy, what have you. And go. You can't hit Rouge in this level, so don't waste your time doing that. I should know, they're not actually heart-shaped bombs, they're just, they have heart-shaped logo things on them. Oh, you can hit her with the spike balls, that's neat, I didn't know that. That's amazing. You can't, what? I didn't even think you could hit her with sign, that's awesome. I mean, I guess it makes sense, she's not really a good guy. Is, is Rouge a good guy? I know I mentioned that in, like, the intro. I'm not sure if, crap, so well. Not sure if Rouge is a good guy, I, I mean, I guess she's, like, indifferent. But, I don't know. I need to watch Sonic X. That show just reminds me of, uh, of Kingdom Hearts, though. I, I guess it's the whole, like, Chris, Chris's relationship with, uh, Sora just reminds me of, like, Chris and, or, Chris's relationship with Sonic reminds me of, uh, like, Sora and all his little 
pals. How am I supposed to get past this without hitting something? Are you kidding me? Screw. Oh my god. Oh my. No, I hit those bombs. You saw. I hit. <laughs> That's funny. I hit those bombs. I should have died there. I definitely should have died. Anyway, we have finished that. We have one more classic mission to go. This is wonderful. This is fantastic. And what do we get now? Hopefully we get a song. I want to get want to get some more music. I figure after yes, so what is this? Sonic Boom. Okay, not exactly what I had hoped for, but it's uh it'll do. It'll do. Can't beat uh what you call it? Sonic C D soundtrack, so how do you get up on this one? These are always so difficult to here we go. Up here. And flickies. Oh that's a neat mission. Um yeah, we'll just do the flicky one, why not? Collecting stuff. Are they called flickies in this one? Is that rescue the animals? Okay, so they're not flickies, because they're a variety of animals. We're gonna go with a uh, good old Splash Hill Zone. I should do a one I'm playing on that game. Sonic 4. That game, it it ah oh, gosh. I mean, if they took like the graphics of Sonic 4 Episode 2 and put like redid Sonic for in that in that style you know plastic grass get get rid of that um i think that game would be a little bit more fun to play through but i think a lot of this, the settings are just very bland and generic looking so it's kind of kind of sad I, I really liked how sonic 4 episode 2 did what was it use like the whole uh marvel not marvel garden aquatic ruin theme for like level theme for uh Sylvania Castle, not Castlevania, Syl Sylvia, Sylvania Castle, Sylvania something. It was, it was like Castlevania crap, whatever. Um, I really like that because you don't, I don't think that Aquatic Woman really gets enough play in, you know, Sonic 2. It's, it's there and then it's just gone. So it was nice seeing its level themes kind of brought back. But that's neither here nor there. This is that animal rescue mission, and it's kind of neat because they changed the background. This is what I'm talking about, like in terms of all the detail that they put into this game. You know, they could have just left the background, left everything the same. Uh, you know, daytime, bright sky, whatever. And you know, they took the time. Okay, we're just gonna dim the sky. It's gonna be like a sunset level. And I, I really like that. There's one thing that I really enjoy. It's a nice sunset level. I want to say I mentioned that in another episode of something. Um, but you know, you can't beat. A, a tropical sunset, sunshiny level, and this this really hits the spot for me. Don't know about you, but I definitely I definitely enjoy this quite a bit. And let's see how how many more do we? Oh, we hit our quota. So let's uh, sounds like <laughs> affirmative action with uh with animals. We've hit our quota. Let's just skip the rest and get to the goal. And no A rank. Oh, uh, yeah, let's press X to get out the cannon. I'm like, this is automatic, right? I guess I'm, I'm so used to Sonic being automated that I just left the thing hanging. And screw your time piece. We're gonna head up here. Head up here. Head up. Up here. It's kind of it's kind of irritating, though. Um, I know I mentioned before, the the physics for Sonic's like jumping and everything are, they're, they're fine. Um, but it's, it is interesting how he doesn't accelerate nearly as fast as... Uh, you know his classic days as far as the classic Sonic is concerned so it's quite it's it's kind of a bummer um, you know you'll still be standing still and you press the right or left buttons and he doesn't speed up as fast as he would so you can't make those same kind of jumps you would but I mean it's not it's not too too devastating to the gameplay but it is it is noticeable if you're a big player of the classics anyway we should have unlocked the boss gate now I just have to find that find that key I don't remember it saving this much in a... I don't think you can turn auto saving off though. Wait, it's not worth 45. And where is the key lift? I think we have to go up on this side. Like the way they design these little inroads or whatever you call them. Yeah, you have to like go on the top. It's, it's weird. Anyway, we have all the boss gate keys. And now we're going to actually take on Shadow over here. Before we hop into the... Uh, the... What are they? The modern missions. And let's actually go around the whole thing. It's kind of interesting. Like, if you hold... What? You know, I'm not even going to bother explaining it. Nope. <laughs> it's just not worth it. All right. And we have good old Shadow Boss Battle. We're going to go to the main stage. No no music change here. I really like this boss fight, though. Um, and I, I almost... 
I wish there were more boss fights like it uh, in other Sonic games. You know, the, the whole, you know, hit a boss multiple times. There, it's it's fine. It's you know, classic Sonic. It's it, it's what works. But I think this one you're gonna see it's a modern Sonic boss battle. So it, I think it worked a lot better. And this is amazing. They recreate the intro to Sonic Adventure 2. You can't beat that. It's kind of I love I love that intro. So. That could be like a screensaver right there. And intro aside, here we go. So the goal is, as with every Sonic game, you want to boost in the shadow. But you can't do that normally. You have to get these here. Power cores, I guess they're called. Hurry! Hurry! Go! Get the boost and get these power cores. Make sure you don't lose your rings. Don't lose your rings because you need to boost. Are you kidding me right now? Are you? Come on now. I'm about to lose. Okay, here we go. So one power core. Okay, so you have to get those purple power cores. And once you get two, you'll get your special ability, hoop you do whatever you call that thing. And then you can hit hit shadow with your face, and and you'll you'll beat them. That's that's the goal. That is the goal, as with most Sonic games. But I believe this is what the take on final rush from Sonic Adventure. What? What? You mean I didn't get the first one either? Are you, are you, what? Oh, okay then. All right, that, that's cool then. Um, yeah, I don't think you can hit Shadow like this, but oh, maybe you could. I don't really know. That's annoying. But yeah, this is a nice little remix of All Hail Shadow. Uh, I never really paid much attention to that song from the what Sonic Adventure 2. I never even played Shadow the Hedgehog. I think I actually played it once with one of my friends when I was younger. But uh, yeah, it's a nice little remix of that nifty little song. Now hopefully we can actually get this power core. For as much as I like this boss fight, as with most things I play, I'm not very good. Well, okay, good. I was about to say. Let me try to get that. And go, go, go. Hurry. Hurry. I, I don't... Is he like rubber banding or something? Because I was clearly in front of him. He's just like, no, I'm, I'm going ahead. I am going ahead. If I could get off the ramps, that would be, be great. All right. And we got our second power core. Now I have to hit Shadow with the Meteorites. This is this is fun. This is nifty. Uh, basically, you're just boosting to win. And that's, that's all you need to do. Hit those Meteorites, and hopefully they hit Shadow. I guess they hit Shadow. I don't really know. Yeah, they're, they're decimated a little. A little turd. Hurry! And what's on this? It doesn't matter? Or something? I don't even know. Live and learn. There you go. I love this song, too. And just... Okay. Yeah. And Shadow's done for. That was that was interesting. I, I don't like how you just run your face into his into his rear end. It, it kind of makes me uncomfortable. But anyway, that is the end all and be all of Shadow. And we should be able to start the modern missions. Awkward silence. It's only awkward if you're pointed out. You know, actually, I think 13 minutes, I think we're going to call that an episode. So next time, after we get that fourth Chaos Emerald that that you know Shadow was holding on to. Oh yeah, references abound in this game. Uh, we will head on and do some modern missions with Classic Sonic. Or, no, that was Classic Sonic. We're going to do some modern missions with Modern Sonic. That would make more sense. So thank you very much for watching. 